In this video, we're going to show you how to enable the WordPress Bakery front end editor. So here I am in one of my pages. Let's go to edit page. And here we can see the default WordPress Bakery editor that comes with Bridge. So this editor is in classic mode. If you click the classic mode button, you can switch to the back end editor. We've disabled the front end editor on purpose because some of our short codes use advanced JavaScript functionality. And if you're using the front end editor, these short codes will not display properly until you save and refresh the page. So for those reasons, we recommend using the classic editor, the one that we can see here. This is still a drag and drop editor. You can click and drag sections around your page in order to rearrange them. However, if you would still like to enable the front end editor, you can go to appearance theme editor. Now WordPress is giving us a heads up message. Basically, it wants you to know that you're about to edit theme files. And whenever you make changes to theme files, you need to be extra careful because even a small mistake can end up breaking your site. So before proceeding with the next step, we recommend performing a full site backup. All right, so now I'm going to proceed. Over here, it's where it says select theme to edit, make sure that you have bridge selected. Even if you're using a child theme, you should select bridge. And here in the menu, look for the extend VC folder. So here it is. And inside this folder, there is a file called extendvc.php. So let's open this file. So as the name suggests, this is the file where we have extended the WordPress Bakery page builder. We removed some of the default settings of the shortcode and we added settings and shortcodes of our own. So if you would like to modify our customizations, this is the file where you can do that. In order to enable the front end editor, I'm going to click on Control F and I'll type in front end and then click on enter. Down here, it says remove front end editor. And here where it says VC disable front end, at the beginning of this line, type in two forward slashes, like so. So now we've commented out this function which disables the front end editor. So let's update this file. All right, now let's go back to our page. And now we can see that the front end editor is available. So in this video, we showed you how to enable the front end editor. I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, you can ask us in the comment section. Thank you for watching.